saxophone, so I figured it would be good to talk a little bit about concepts of swing and ghosting. Have you ever talked to a really good jazz player to find out the secret, and they say, I don't know, just feel it, man, just listen, just listen. How many times have I been told that? Well, the truth is, sometimes these guys don't even know how they do what they do. They've kind of figured it out intuitively by listening. I think that I can give you some shortcuts to help you sound good a little bit quicker, but keep listening. So, we're gonna just jump right in. I'm gonna give you the basics of swing, and then we're gonna integrate it into a line so you can see how it works in real life. Let's start with this. When you swing, you have three elements. First one, subdivision. When we subdivide, we're often dividing into triplets. So for every beat, we're fitting three notes into the beat. The second part of swing is accents. Super important. Finally, one that isn't talked about as often is ghosting. if it relates mainly to saxophone or other instruments, but I have heard uh, bass players and guitar players evoking this sort of sound. So we'll talk about all three. Let's do it. I'm going to play this excerpt right here on the tenor A, which of course is a concert G, and I'm just going to fit three notes into one beat. Da, da, da. 
da, that just adds to the accent. If we add more notes, we continue this going up the register. <laughs> When you play slowly, but when it's faster, you'll hear how it swings. Ghosting, tonguing, accenting, subdividing. Believe me, my friends, this is not the end. There's one final step to this that actually applies to real music. I've written an example line below. Now here's the catch. You have the accent of triple it, triple it with the accent on the end, but that doesn't necessarily work in real life because when we have a line that doesn't go all in one direction, we have to accent certain parts of the line. Let me show you something. The high points of the line right here and right here, I've put an accent. Before I play that, let me play this straight with nothing done to it. Now I'm going to accent this, accent this. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead too because I naturally do the other parts. Let me just write them in. We tongue this, we ghost this, Accent. And just for fun, we're going to put a short articulation on the last note because it sounds good. Let me play now what I just wrote on the board. If I play it faster, it'll make a lot more sense. Good luck when you're swinging, and whenever anybody asks you how you did it, you can just say, just listen, man. Just listen.